but instead it's Lampard yeah. who takes over. There's a bit of a revisionist history going on on the part of uh, U.S. fans, and they're acting like everything for Pulisic was great under Lampard. I, I remember plenty of complaining back then about how Lampard handled Pulisic, but Pulisic did have his most successful stretch at Chelsea under uh, Frank Lampard. That is undeniable. That was the restart after the COVID shutdown uh, in 2020. He played incredibly well for a stretch of games. So who knows? Maybe this is a good development for Pulisic. Lampard taking over. Well, I mean, what's interesting in this whole thing is oftentimes the conventional wisdom says you don't fire someone unless you know unless you have someone to take over i don't know if chelsea did when they fired potter i don't know whether todd Bowley <laughs> and uh, the leadership over there had a plan but it, if they if they didn't that's a problem if they did and this is kind of part of the plan in that well if they wanted to get uh nagelsman or somebody like that they felt they could and they just couldn't get it across the line from a contractual perspective or, you know, it, you know, they started to have second thoughts or wanted a little bit of time or wanted to come in the summer. OK, I can I can understand that. And if that's the case, then this actually, I think, makes sense. You have somebody, obviously, who is a club legend on the field and to a certain extent off the field has has a history and therefore has a cachet uh, with with the fan base and with the club. He is there. He understands and can hit the ground running coming in. You mentioned whether it's players that he's been with or just the whole system and structure that is kind of set up there. He obviously loves the the, the club and has an affinity for it. So as far as a short-term type of situation, I mean, if, if Frank Lampard had been the assistant coach, nobody would have batted an eye at this. And he wasn't, I know. But this isn't as crazy, ultimately, as it sounds. As long as come this summer, I guess that's when this would all happen, they get their man or woman, whoever it ends up being. And that person just w either wasn't available or didn't want to come at this at this point. And so they said, all right, let's right the ship to the extent that we can in a temporary basis and then do what we need to do in the summer to get, get whoever the hell it is that they feel is going to bring Chelsea back to the elite uh, status that they expect. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops every week. Subscribe now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.